Welcome, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add categories in Squarespace. This is a feature that is built into Squarespace you might want to use for things like drop down boxes that you can insert into a section above your blog page. Makes it really easy for website visitors to focus on all of your content in just one category. Um, that also helps with greatly with user friendliness. You can also insert summary carousels at the bottom of blog posts so people can continue reading and spending time on your website. Website. So to do that, we need to utilize categories. Let me show you how to do that in this video. So you're on your blog page. Again, to get to that, you're going to go from your home menu in Squarespace, click on pages, and then your blog. You're going to see all of your blog posts that are already published here on the left-hand side. So you're going to select whatever single blog post that you want to add to a new category. You're going to click on it. It's going to load that blog post here in the right hand side, but you are actually going to click on the three dots here to the right of the title and then click on settings. So this is the blog post settings menu. You're then going to click on options and you're going to see categories. Click on that. So you don't have, um, when you first have your template uploaded, you're not going to have any settings in here in terms of categories. So you can just go ahead and start typing whatever you want your category, your first category name to be and just press enter when you are done and you're going to see that it then adds it to this blog post. You can actually add as many categories as you want to one blog post. So you can just continue to add additional ones down here by typing it in and pressing enter. Then you can click save when you are done. It's as easy as that. So any of your other ones, you go in here, let's say this blog post number three, I'm gonna click on the three dots, settings, options, categories and let's just say this is category number two. Now if I, um, so let's just say I'm going to put category name number number two, press enter. Perfect. So now this blog post number three is category number two. Now let's just say that blog post number two, I want to add it to an existing category name. We're just going to click on the three dots here, settings, options, categories, you're going to see it doesn't list the categories here, but as soon as we start typing the name of an existing category, it's going to drop down here and you can just go ahead and simply select it with your mouse. Again, you can type down here and add it to multiple ones if you wanted to and click on save when you are done. That's it. That's all. That's how easy it is to add a blog, a blog post to a specific category. Now, if you want to edit a category after blog posts have already been added to it, let's say you want to edit the name or you even want to delete a category altogether. Super simple to do that. You go up to the blog settings here. It's to the left of where the plus sign is that we make a new blog post. We click on here. We're then going to go to advanced and then manage categories. You're going to see that it's going to show the however many categories we have for live blog posts, blog posts that have been published already on our blogs. So if you want to edit it, you click and so to select the name of the category you want to change, click on edit, and then you can go ahead and retype in category, I'm going to put category new name number one and click on save. Once it changes it in here, it's also going to change it on any other pages on your website that are automatically um, generated, such as a blog category page. Now, if you want to delete a category, again, you select it and then just it shows edit or delete. You just select delete. It says remove category. I want to confirm that I want to. And then there you go. And then we just go ahead and we close that menu window. It's as simple as that. Managing categories on Squarespace, super user friendly for both the reader and you as the person who's producing the content. That's it for this blog post series. I will see you in further videos in the future.